Hello everybody, I'm playing this game here, Fallout 4. Uh, I play a little bit, but I'm going to start over so we can experience the game together. And by experience the game together, I don't mean that we're going to be uh, collaborating or even paying attention to anything that happens. It's going to be a romp. Come on, loading screen. I installed you on my... Solid state drive for a reason. Come on, bruh. What are you doing, bruh? Come on, bruh. Oh, good. Cutscene. Goodbye. T. There's a cutscene. It's great. The point is, I want to get to the character creator. So here I am. My name. I don't know what my name is yet. But I know no my guys. Never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans. I'm not gonna look like that. You think? At all. Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Yeah. Uh. Hey, my turn, big guy. This is what couples do. Do they watch each other like in the bathroom? Watch as they style their faces and change races. Is this what happens in the bathroom? I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh. Ooh, I like the short hair. Um, not that short. Ugh. Some of these women look rough. I'm just gonna pick that one and then go uh, hair, color. Uh, blonde, blonde. brunette, purple. It all looks good on you. That's super cheesy. Let's uh, give her a super weird forehead. Super. Give her a big old Rihanna forehead. Uh. That'll be that one right there. There we go. All right. Perfect. Just gonna leave that alone. Um. I am going to play as the guy now. Yeah. Now, my only goal creating this guy, I'm just going to make him as fat as possible. Okay, I got his cheeks. Yeah, not bad. Well, I mean, it's pretty bad. I should know. I I have this body. It's it's real bad. You don't, you don't want this. God, he looks like a freaking cartoon character. Uh... Sure, why not? Um, God, what have I done to this man already? Make him super fat. Hun, you think my nose is too big? I don't know, can I stretch out his neck? You look as good as the day we met. Yep. He looks awful. Big old forehead. Uh, very concerned. What do you think, huh? concerned Roguishly over. handsome or handsomely roguish? Let's go. Make sure that's in a little bit. There we go. Now, I'm not trying to make him look like me. I just want him to look kind of off. Ugh. There we go. Oh, very strapping. Well, very fat. I mean, I don't think... I don't think anybody's going to say that you're striking or handsome. Not bad. Can we do anything about these temples? I feel like the temples are not... No, that's the eyebrows. Eyebrows are fine. I need the temples. Come on, come on, temples. Is that better? Is that even out his head a little bit? Alright. So handsome. Great. Fantastic. Body. Oh-ho! Look at this muscular ex-military man. Nope. Big ol' fat dude. Perfect. And I think that's almost it. Uh, what's under extras? Marking blemishes damage. Nah, he's fine. Remove all if there are any. Great. Yep. That is me. You know what this makes me think of? Attractive, skinny, blonde wife. Big ol' fat dude. 
Makes me think of uh, every show Seth MacFarlane has ever come up with. Alright, so let's speed along the story here. Can I pick up this hammer? Nope. What a waste of a game. Can't even pick anything up. Where's Codsworth? Codsworth! There you are. Ah, good morning, sir. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, sir. Uh huh. Well, got my. Yep, that's how coffee works. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Look at these reflections on this window. Alright, so, uh, obviously, robots were invented to replace women, but they kept women around so we could make babies. Speaking of babies... Juris Doctor. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. I'm just gonna let the robot tend to the baby. I'm sure we can trust the robot with the baby. All these doors are closed, letting in the air. Is that how doors work? Probably. Uh oh. Canada is invading the U.S. That's crazy. Uh, never gonna find that dog. We have a missing dog. I did not catch up on that. But... Looks like the milk got delivered. Great. Uh, mitten. All right. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. Probably. Every day. Good morning, Voltec calling. Good morning. Good morning. Isn't it? I'm very fat. Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying. Well, I'm here now. I'm here now. So you are. <laughs> So you are. Now I know you're a busy fellow, so uh -huh. you won't take Very up much busy. of your time. Uh -huh. Time being a uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today. To Why are you so you suspicious? That because of your family service, man in the yellow hat, country, you have been pre-selected for entrance. Where's Curious George? Where's that question? Sounds, Sounds great. great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're Stop. already cleared for entrance. Stop in being so suspicious. The event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> uh -huh. I just need to verify some information. That's all. Mm hmm. Go on. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. 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 Now, uh, let's see. <clears throat> what we're going to do add two to all these. First off, you know I don't care about luck, and then I'm gonna do strength, endurance, uh, intelligence, and then one more to perception. My name will be obviously Muhammad, and there we go. Wonderful. That's everything. I mean, uh, just why so wouldn't I be Muhammad? Cool. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Even though everything I just did was <laughs> free. Answer. I have my moments. Mr. Mohammed, Sean has oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> He called me Master Muhammad. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. Oh, that is fantastic. Well, if you ever wonder what Muhammad looks like, it looks like this, apparently. I'm going to play with my little baby. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Apparently my baby's been tanning. He loves that. Yeah, okay. Why does our baby have darker skin than either of us? Huh? Hey, huh? Oh, why'd you lock me in here? Uh -huh. Listen, Can't wait to teach him to ride this. I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Uh-huh. Weather should hold up. Sounds fun. Yeah. Sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this. Codsworth? What's wrong? See, an ugly guy with a pretty wife, you kind of have to just go along with everything she says. 
Or she'll leave you when she realizes you're not attractive. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. There's people running outside. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. Honey, I have to find... We do have coming in. That's I have to find my gun. Confirmed reports. I'm gonna take on the nuke myself. Nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. Where's my gun? My god. Where's my gun? Oh my god. We, well, she has we the need baby. to get to the vault. Now. Quick, to the vault! Where's the vault? Is the vault this way? Should we get in the car? What a bright, colorful world. So we go this way. Past these yahoos. Yeah, grab your clothes. Those are more important than, you know, living. Geniuses. Excuse me. He is vault -Tec. You can't stop me! We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Oh, man. Adult male. Adult female. Where is he going? Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Please get out of my way. I am more important than everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Do we have to... This? Is this, is this the platform? Let's go over here. Why do you run so slow? Almost I'm there. fat. We'll Why did I run okay. faster than you? I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my God. Don't speak for the baby. The baby can make his own decisions. Hold on! So far, this game has been a series of unfortunate coincidences. Especially for her, she ended up with a fat, ugly husband. We did it. Look at him. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. Ah! We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Ah! Vault 111. Hey there. So we Welcome just... to your new yes, home. Up the stairs. Hey there. Up the stairs. I'm going to say hi to everybody. I'm an extremely polite person, so I have to say hi to everyone. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello there. Hello. 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 Excuse me, please. Hello. Step over to the table. Hello. Running some scans. Just All this right. Great. Hello. Hello. It's stuck. Door can't be open. Oh, more fat people got in. Hello. Okay. Hello. Excuse me. There's some problem with our luggage. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Just follow the doctor. Hello, doctor. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Non potable water access? This is our new home. Oh, you're Here you are. Lucky. Head down the hall. This there. is one of our most advanced facilities. Not what are the pipes for? Street, mind you. What are the pipes for? It's gone. Do not open except an emergency. We had. My mother and father down Nothing to see here. Yeah, your family's dead. Oh, Hello. Hey. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. That sounds great. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Uh, this is very clearly a cryostasis pod. Like, these are still kind of frozen. I don't know what you're trying to prove. Hey there. Just, Could you just, go? just gonna. He'll step you through the process. Just gonna close one of these here. No. Excuse me, Mr. Russell. A nuke. Hun. A goddamn Could you nuke. Help me? Whoa, calm down, friend. Can you? All right, let's get in this uh pod for decontamination. I'm doing the finger quotes. You just can't see it. I didn't want to do face cam on this because that's stupid. Before we head deeper in the hall, just relax. That's right. Goodbye forever. For a whole new life. I'm putting my hand on the monitor. 
You can't see it, but I am. Procedure complete. In five. Alright, so I'm clearly frozen, not decontaminating or anything. I don't know what, I don't know why I believed any of the things they told me. <sighs> Keep breathing hard, man. It's cold. Alright, so now I'm like partially unfrozen, I guess, for no real reason. So that I get to see this happen. <laughs> I'm clicking, nothing's happening. I'm okay. Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Yeah. Don't let go of that baby. I don't want you to die with me hating you. Don't let go of the baby. Don't let go of it. Oh, what a failure of a mother. I'm trying to protect my son from within this frozen... What am I a backup for? See, I think this right off the bat, I'm incredibly interested in the story. I want to know everything now. I want to know who that guy was. I want to know why they killed my wife to get the baby. Why couldn't they have just taken my wife and the baby? Why am I a backup for a baby? <coughs> and how did I live? Everyone else here is dead. Literally everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it really feels like somebody had to have open this for me to get out okay I don't get it so obviously I can't open anything uh, there's these things I can read terminal stuff but uh to give you the gist um, this was a designed originally to be a 180 day experiment um, everyone in here only had food and supplies to last 180 days but they weren't expecting the bomb to actually go off like this was just supposed to be a test of the cryostasis stuff so what ended up happening was uh, they got stuck in here there's nothing they could do about it what the heck is happening oh it's water drip. Um, I don't care about well that's stim picking. What's on this security terminal? If it's just information, I'm just going to leave. Instructions, protocol, whatever. Anyway, so the original experiment was supposed to just freeze people for 180 days to test the cryostasis. But, <clears throat> the bomb went off, so they couldn't leave at first. That's why everyone in here is skeletons. Because, they didn't have enough supplies to last longer than 180 days. Um, giant roaches. I'll take everything what you got, hell? buddy. Um, so obviously that's not the way it was with all the vaults. Um, at least I would imagine not, because there are people that are still alive. So the people that are still alive, my guess would be that they came from another vault somehow. Um, they came and took my son for some reason, which is weird because that means they knew I was there, which means they knew I had a son. There's like a lot of unknowns that I just, I don't know, I have no idea what it is. Uh, so these are the adventures of Muhammad. The Vault 111 survivor in search of his son, Sean. Because obviously someone named Muhammad is going to name their son Sean. Um, why aren't you dying, dude? Yeah, like that. What happened here? 
Well, people died. Where is everyone? Everyone starved to death, like I already said. Were you not paying attention? I don't know what to do with red roach meat. Great. Um, there's three more stem packs. Uh, there's an actual gun. This terminal will open that door over there. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So, now I can go further on. And you can probably tell almost immediately, the gunplay in this is so much better than the other games. It doesn't feel like an afterthought. Because honestly, in Vegas N3, the gunplay felt like they designed a big open world game that was exploration only. Then they added enemies. And then they added guns. Last. And then put out the game. Like, it's just, the VAT system was basically put in the game to make up for the fact that the gun mechanics were so bad. And as bad as my aiming is, you'd probably be surprised to know that I am using a mouse and keyboard and not a controller. <clears throat> so quite literally, these people that are in these places that are dead, like, this is the same guy that was standing here when you came in at the, uh, you know, when I first came into the vault. They were supposed to be here for six months. That's about 180 days. And uh, they ran out of supplies. 38,000 bytes free. This thing couldn't run. Honestly. Great. Uh huh. Map, radio. Great. Uh, then I interface with this. Right. Vault door remote access ready. So now Vault door cycling sequence. I'm getting out. Please stand back. What's interesting is I feel like the whole getting out of the vault thing in this game doesn't really seem like that big of a deal compared to the other games, because in this game you started outside of the vault anyway. It ends up being a bigger deal because of how different everything is outside. Well, like in 3 in New Vegas, you start out in the vault, and that's the only life you've ever known. And this one, the only life you've ever known is outside. And from your perception, you've been in the vault for... 10 minutes, if that. Seriously, this is the dude's, like... list of people he was checking off, like... I don't know. Everything's all rusty and gross. I am perfect. I am Mohammed, and I am going to wreak vengeance upon those who killed my wife and stole my son. As any self-respecting Mohammed would. Stand clear. Ooh. All right. See, in 3 New Vegas, this was like, oh man, I'm going out of the vault. Now, obviously, the world's different. That's the big revelation here. But I feel like it doesn't have the same impact oh, as um, 3 New Vegas did. Because it's like, at least not for the character, it wouldn't. You've been here, you're just like, oh man. And you know a bomb went off. Muhammad is probably thinking, a bomb went off. This is, this is just the destruction from the bomb. It's crazy. There's Codsworth. Old, faithful Codsworth. Tending to the garden. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Codsworth? You're, you're still here. So, other people could still be alive too. I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? 
But you seem the worse for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state. Hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? Um. She's. in a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. I said yes, one thing. A distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Oh, obviously. He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Say my name again. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? 200 years? What? Are you? A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give and take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Yeah, that sounds great. Godsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years years trying to keep the floors waxed but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood <laughs> nothing and don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house and the car the car how do you polish rust stay with me buddy stay with me pal focus oh he says pal whatever I'm I don't know buddy pal uh, friend Comrade, all of you left in such a hurry. Uh -huh. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you. You held on to this for 200 years. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. She's dead. All right. Lead the way. Round two serves, sir. Robot in denial. Hey. 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 Hey, Codsworth. Mr. Mohammed, don't worry. <laughs> Alright, so he called me Muhammad again. <laughs> he killed him. Well, he calls me Muhammad. So, that is the... Um... All right, so these have been the adventures of Muhammad. I'm going to stop the episode there because I know most of you aren't even going to watch the whole half hour. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to do another one of these. I've said before how I think Let's Plays are kind of played out. They're Let's Played out. So if you want to see more, let me know. If not, these have been the adventures of Muhammad. And Fallout 4 is pretty great. Uh, I think there's some ups and downs, but overall, it seems pretty great so far. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye Does someone else already do that? Bye bye